Alrighty, welcome everybody. Uh, sorry, I'm about an hour late tonight. Um, I've got some grandkids visiting and uh, just trying to get everybody where they're supposed to go. Uh, they had some, they wanted to get together with some friends tonight and they misunderstood what time I do my lives and so we had a little miscommunication. So everybody's where they're supposed to be and so now I am ready to do my live tonight. So if you are new to watching me, my name is Julie Brown. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome. I'm so glad you're with us tonight. For those of you that are used to being here, hello. Uh, um, for all of you, if you have a question or if you'd like to uh, let me know you're here, you can type it into comments. Now, I am showing on my screen that I keep kind of, uh, looks like I'm pausing and stuff. I hope this does not keep going like this tonight. I hope it will fix itself. Uh, I've got everything turned off. There's nobody here, so um, unless they've left some stuff running somewhere, um, in my house other other things that are connected to the internet then that could be the problem But hopefully this will go nice and smooth. Oops. I see my head is halfway cut off there But hopefully it'll all go smooth tonight. So let's get uh, taken care of some housekeeping And so uh, for those of you that order with me, there's the August hostess code and you can order through me at juliebrown.stampinup.net and then there's my email, my Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. Now my YouTube channel is a little bit different because it is under Julie Brown dot Julie's Creative Stamping. And so that's where you will find that. Um, and then my blog is Julie's Creative Stamping dot com. Now I am, and I know you guys have been hearing me say this for almost a year, but I am uh, working on that still. And so uh, just understand that uh, I will have some blogs on there, but you're going to find some stuff that is not exactly where it's supposed to be um, on there. So um, I'm still working on that. I will get that all straightened out. So anyway, let's get started with what we want to do tonight. I am going to be working with, if I can get this off, hold on with the It's a Science um, stamp set, which I did last week, and last week I did a pop-up card. So if you guys didn't see that one, go back and watch that one. You can either watch it here on my Facebook page or you can watch it on my YouTube channel, which is the Julie Brown dot Julie's Creative Stamping. Now, why would you wanna watch it on the YouTube channel? Because that is where I am able to post the PDFs um, so that you guys can download it and make it. So why am I doing uh, this again? What I wanted to do is I have had a ton of people asking me, and let me just kind of put this back to my base. I have had a lot of people asking me um, why we call simple stamping, simple stamping. Because they feel like sometimes simple stamping can take a little bit longer than like a casual or an avid. And that's absolutely true because with, now avids do take longer, but with a casual, uh, what we call casual cards, a lot of times you're adding designer series paper and you're only stamping a little bit. There's very little coloring, very little of anything. And so those do tend to go quicker um, than the simple stamping. So what is the difference? Well, simple stamping is you are using cardstock and you are using a stamp set and ink and possibly markers. Like tonight we're gonna use markers and ink. So it's all about um, the least amount of materials to put something together. Now we do, we can use dimensionals. Um, you can add ribbon, you can add embellishments, but simple stamping, we try to keep it pretty straightforward and simple. And so tonight I'm gonna give you an example, kind of start to finish. I did do the inside already, but I just, I'm gonna stamp it and I'm gonna color it while we're talking tonight so you can see that this does take, take a little bit longer but it still goes pretty quick. Um, and then um, keep watching, because I'm gonna actually do a whole, hey Mel, I'm gonna do a whole video series on this, um, simple stamping versus casual stamping versus avid stamping, so everybody understands the difference between these two and what it takes to create um, each of these types of cards. So tonight, it's simple. So here we go. Okay, so we are using the It's a Science, because I just think this is a fun one. And what we're gonna do is, and again, remember, simple stamping is cardstock, ink, coloring, and put it together, right? 
Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the little microscope. And I'm just gonna show you this whole process tonight. So I hope you guys don't get too bored. Um, I didn't color it ahead of time. If I feel like I'm going too long, I will show you the finished product, but um, we're gonna try to keep this so that you guys can see start to finish what it takes. So I usually have, a, if, if I have different sizes like this one, I usually, usually have a, vo a focal point and I usually put that in the middle. Now, I sometimes I will put it in the top, but for the most po po part, I usually put the largest stamp in the middle. That doesn't mean you have to do that, that's just the way I do it. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in these cute little, I believe these are, the, and you guys can tell me if I'm wrong. I believe these, it's been a long time since I've been in science class. I believe these are the cells and these are the protrons. Let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> and so what we're gonna do is we are going to bring, um, again, we're using black memento because we're gonna be coloring. And so what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna add a few of these on the page. And in a minute, I'm gonna like stamp a couple off, but I usually put everything that I want on there fully first. So I want those three there, and then I'm gonna come in, and I, I probably need to move this out. I usually use my silicone mat when I'm using photopolymer, but these are cling stamps, and so I don't want these to interfere. They stamp a little bit better without that silicone mat. So what I'm doing is I want to get all of my full stamped images on here first. And then, oh, oh that now I know why I had that underneath because I'm going to be stamping off. And then I'm going to start um, the stamping off process once I get everything kind of on here. And now I'm going to go through and I'm going to figure out where I want to kind of bring them in, but they're not going to be all the way on the page. And this is just how I do it. You don't have to do it this way. This is just how I have found that if you put all of your full pieces on there first, then you have a better chance of one, making everything fit, making everything look good. Um, because then you can just, you can kind of see where you want to fill things in. And let's see, and let's do one of these, I think, down here. All right, I probably should have put that one a little bit lower, but it'll be fine. All right, so now I'm just gonna clean off these stamps. Now, if any of you guys have questions about simple stamping, um, just let me know, because like I said, we call it simple stamping, and you'll see a lot of, like on Instagram, a lot of hashtags, simple stamping, um, and it's basically because we're using, again, ink. Um, well, like tonight I'm using some blends uh, to do some coloring. Uh, and like for this one, I have a card base that's basic black and then I have two pieces of basic white. And then a little, uh, then I, we're gonna have a couple that, a couple small scrap pieces of paper. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna start coloring and I'm gonna try to go fairly fast because I know that, you know, it's not always exciting to watch people color. Sometimes it is because you get to kind of see um, how everything from start to finish, what it looks like from the start, and then as, as, it, as you're going through this, how the design starts to come to life. And for me, that's the fun part, is making it all come to life. So I am using Smoky Slate, and these are our blends. These are our alcohol-based markers, and they're the blends. Now I work in little sections at a time because of the blending. Now I'm gonna get, bring you in a little bit closer so you can see that whole actual coloring part of this. And so now I'm just gonna go over this with the, our blends come in, they come in a light and a dark. And so the first one that you saw me use was the dark. And now I'm coming in with the light. And what happens is as you color over that dark, they start to blend into each other and it gives it some natural, some shading. So it's not just like flat colors, it puts shading in it. 
makes it look really cool and really pretty. All right, and so there's that. And then let's go here. Hopefully someone's trying to call me and it's supposed to be on do not disturb, but hopefully it's not interfering with, sometimes when people try to call me, it does interfere with uh, the video. So let's hope it doesn't do that. So again, I am just picking. And, and for this one, sometimes they, it, it's a lot easier to figure out the shading because the stamp already has some natural uh, highlights in it. So it already had these, these things already drawn in. And so I'm just gonna use that. We don't have to overthink it when we're coloring and when we're blending. Um, if, if the stamp already has some places that, uh, like when you stamp with the black marker, they're darker then go ahead and use that. And use that as your guide to, hey, I'm just gonna go over that with the dark blend and then I'm gonna come in with the lighter blend. All right, so there's that. And then I'm gonna come in um, with the um, Azure Afternoon. Whoops. <laughs> if I can quit throwing it in the trash can. And I'm gonna talk to you about blends when you get to smaller areas. So. I'm gonna do, so right here, I'm gonna go ahead and draw this little line in with the dark. I'm gonna come over here, and this little section right here, I'm gonna fill in with the dark blend. And then like I told you before, I'm just following the lines that are already there. Now I'm gonna go ahead, because this is such a small area, I'm not gonna try to blend dark and light together I'm just gonna um, use the dark. And so keep that in mind, because when you're working in smaller areas, you, you really don't want to, um, it, it's a lot harder to try to blend it when it's in a little itty bitty area. And so I have found that I just like using whatever color it is that I want to use for that particular, whether it's the dark or the light. And you'll notice like I'm going in and kind of going over what I've already, like this little section here, I, the reason that I went in there is because I'm actually pulling some of that out into this section. So again, it gives the highlights and the low lights. And then I'm for this one down here, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this lighter color. All right. And then I'm going to bring in our, uh, this is our bronze, marker and it, it comes um i think it comes with this one and oh what this one does come in a pack but i forget what it comes in i think it's this one and an ivory colored one so it's not really dark and light with these two all right so as you can see then now we've got the microscope is done so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to play with these and um just see if i can kind of pick out some patterns and so I'm gonna bring in that Azure Afternoon. And what I try to do is while I have the same one out, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna hit all the different ones that I want to be Azure Afternoon. And I am using the dark for this, uh, just so you guys know. I'm not, and again, I'm not blending now, I'm just like coloring basically. All right, and then I think I'll do another blue up here. And then maybe another one right here. And so that's what's kind of fun when you start, when you start working with these images. I think these images are so much fun in this set, the It's a Science set, because they're just, to me, they're just tons of fun. And you're, as you're gonna see, we're gonna get a lot of, uh, when this is all done, it's gonna be bright and cheery and fun. And yeah, it's just gonna be tons of fun. Okay, so now I'm coming in with the Highland Heather. And again, I'm just kind of going around and I am just kind of picking some places where I want the Highland Heather color to be. So. There isn't really a rhyme and a reason, but there kind of is, you know, because I'm, I'm trying to make sure I'm separating the colors and not putting them right next to each other. Uh, 
And so, you know, in that, there might be a little bit more of a thought process when you're doing this. But, and the reason I'm having you guys watch me color tonight is because like I said, there's been a lot of confusion when I say simple stamping, you guys are like, well, that wasn't simple. That took a long time because again, simple stamping is the amount of equipment that we use, not necessarily that it's gonna be done quicker than everything else. All right, so now I'm gonna come in with um, some granny apple green. these dots here in granny apple green and then let's see I think I'll pick this up right here in granny apple green let's do this one but like I said so the simple stamping is um, it can take a little bit more time because you're actually coloring and um, now if you have like a distinctive stamp and again, I'm gonna do a full video on simple stamping. I'm gonna show you uh, kind of like I am tonight where you color it in. And then I'm gonna show you it when you have distinctive stamps uh, where you just stamp and you don't have to color in, then that definitely, definitely um, is a lot simpler and a lot quicker. But again, I'm just trying to show you processes tonight so that we're not like, you said it was simple stamping, I thought it was gonna be easy, and it took me a long time. Now see, I don't think this is taking like a ton of time. It might seem to it seem like it to you guys because you're watching. <laughs> and like I said, I know um, watching people color things is kind of you know like watching paint dry. But you can see, isn't it fun to kind of see how it's developing? And how as you're starting to um, get all your colors in there, uh, it's starting to become more vibrant and a lot more fun. And then let's bring in some pumpkin pie. So I, I kind of used, I used a couple, I think uh, Highland Heather was the only uh, subtle from the subtle family and the rest are from the Brights family. So this, this one, this particular one is pumpkin pie. Again, just trying to get you know just kind of spread it around so that they're again I don't want colors right next to each other um, obviously when we start doing these little circles on the protrons I think I'm calling those are the protrons I think I'm right with that uh, then we might have some colors that are next to each other but the whole point is you know do slow down and take some time to get yourself a, a fun little pattern going so that it just makes this uh, a little bit easier. Okay, so then I'm gonna bring in Poppy Parade, Dark Poppy Parade, and we're going to do this one. And this one. And we're even gonna do this one right next to it. So those two are both done in Poppy Parade. And then we're gonna do these dots here. Now I'm gonna have to go back. I forgot to do these little tiny dots because I was talking and I got uh, distracted. But again, we're just kind of going through and we're adding and getting everything colored in. So to do these little tiny dots, basically all you have to do is basically touch them. And that's all it takes to get uh, that color on there. Oh, I, I guess I did do the granny apple green one. And then I think I want to go ahead and add it here because I'm definitely trying to pick a group that doesn't already have the red in it. And as you can see, all you have to do is just barely, barely touch and it goes to work for you. So now I'm going to come back in and where I forgot to like do this blue here. And then let's see, let's do uh, blue dots up here. And actually guys like we're getting we're getting like really close to being done I think I'll do purple there let's see that's got a blue in it yeah all right then I'm gonna bring in the back in the daffodil delight and we're gonna do these little dots here sorry I didn't do that when I had it out the first time but 
again, I get to talking and I lose my focus <laughs> and I forget what I'm doing. And then we're gonna come in with the Highland Heather. And again, we're just gonna touch these little dots just like that. And then the Granny Apple Green. Color in these little dots. And again, another simple stamping can just be, um, you know, doing, if you have a big stamp, do the big stamp, and, and, it, and again, it may not be something that you have to color in, so it's not gonna take as long as like this one took tonight to get all of this colored in. All right, so let's come back out. So it's all colored, so what do you think of the colors? So fun, huh? And then wait till you see when we put this on the basic black card base. It really makes this pop. And that, that, that's another thing that has to do with a lot of this is, uh, is uh, like what you back it with can, can make or break your whole design sometimes. You wanna make sure, what I do is I'll bring a lot of different colors in and I'll lay this on each of those different colors and see which color I like the best uh, and you know which color talks to me. It's all about what's gonna talk to me. All right, so then we're gonna take this and we're gonna mount this onto our card base. And then I did pre-do the inside. So this is what I did for the inside. So the, the inside says, let's sell a braid. And then I did the Protron and the sales down here. Same concept of what you just saw me do. I know Mel, isn't that, it is pretty. I, you know, it's, I think sometimes we get carried away with putting so, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the dies. I love, playing with them. I love adding things to my card, but sometimes it's fun to just sit and stamp and do some coloring like we did tonight because, you know, coloring, coloring helps me to just kind of relax and take in some deep breaths. And then to finish this off, all we're going to do is I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap here and I'm going to bring in one of the sentiments from that set. And this is you plus me I don't think that Y is very dark. Okay. You plus me, and then there's, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's so cute. It says you plus me, and then it has the, sorry, I gotta get this behind it. You plus me, and then the line equals chemistry. How cute is that? And so what I'm gonna do here, again, because, I mean, if I, you know, Yes, you can use dies, but then you're moving into the casual or the um, avid lane. So because I don't have any dies for this set, um, and this is another good way for you guys to say, hey, you know, I mean, I, I could just stamp it on a piece, you know, a little square, but if I want to give it some more interest, then I'm just going to kind of fussy cut around it and give it some really fun shape as I do that. And that's a way that you can make it look a little bit different. Then what I'm gonna do with this is we are going to glue this. Ah, maybe. I've been gluing a lot of stuff today. I'm getting ready to go to backstage, which is um, for uh, the, the leaders for Stampin' Up! And I, got, I get to go to that this year. And I'm making some swaps and so I have been doing that, plus our county fair is coming up. So for those of you watching that are in the Farmington area, Susie and I will be out at the county fair. We're gonna have some really fun make and takes that you can come out there and make. And so keep an eye on that. That's gonna be, uh, we're gonna be setting up Friday and then it'll be Saturday through Saturday. And so that is where I will be. So I don't know if I will be live next Wednesday. I'll let you guys know. Um, I might just kind of do a quick hello from the fair type live uh, and see uh, what what's happening at let you guys see what's happening at the fair 
my my daughters I'm used to being out at the county fair because uh, my daughters showed rabbits and I ran the rabbit barn out there for several years uh, and so uh, we used to hang out in the rabbit barn for that whole week and now I'm gonna be at my booth I'll have cards for sale uh, and we'll have some demonstrations going on so it'll be it'll be tons of fun so if you're gonna be in the area you can stop by and say hello Woo! my electricity just sorry my electricity flashed all right where are we at All right, so I may have gone out on you guys because my electricity did flash and I think my, um, oh, let's see what's happening here. <laughs> Sorry, I we had an electricity flash and my phone that faces down is not working. And so I am just gonna um, put this little you and me um, equal chemistry and I'll hold it up for you. So hopefully I'm not frozen anymore and you can see that that's what I that's how I finished and that's the inside so I don't know if I froze I'm so sorry if I froze Mel saying I froze I hope I came back and you guys got to see the card at the end um, if not I do apologize but it is still recording and so hopefully when I load this on YouTube it will work I'm actually gonna check if you guys will bear with me I am gonna look at my Facebook and see what's going on there so I can see if it completely froze or what happened so let me see what's going on ah. okay I now I really don't know what's going on Oh my goodness okay so I probably did freeze but hopefully it's still it's still recording here and I'll be able to upload the very end for you guys so I do apologize for that happening um, but you know <laughs> I'm telling you it's like having to depend on like on um, technology sometimes is not great but I'm gonna hold it up here so you can see I just fussy cut I fussy cut around the sentiment and then I Put it on basic black and fussy cut again and then there's your finished card yay all righty so be watching for my um, series that I'm gonna be doing on simple versus casual versus avid hopefully you guys will learn some tips and techniques throughout this and you guys will enjoy that uh, appreciate all you guys watching those that stuck with me sorry for those of you that I froze on but I will see if I can try to put it back on Facebook. If not, it will definitely be uploaded to YouTube. So anyway, thank you guys so much, and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.